Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sam Fong's channel. Today we're building the... Uh, actually, I am actually really want to build this one, but I forgot to build it. Don't judge me, okay? Today we're building the Premium and Not High Grade Build Fire the Gundam M91. Or you can call it the Mackenzie 91. I made up that name, okay? Uh, so it's from the Gundam Build Fighters Amazing Ready, which is this manga as well. And... You know, usually at the side there's nothing else. Uh, the box art, we'll just look at the instruction manual because the I think the instruction manual give the you know a better box look of the box art. So you know we'll have one, two, three, four packages. So same as the F91, you know, small packages. And now let's look at the box art. This is the box art with colors and. I think it looks kind of good because you know you can see is that Roma and there's a information about it and at the back we got the build custom is from F91 of course and I think they uh, it, it adjusts a lot a little bit about the weapons and the look as well so let you know just quickly flick through it and look at the crosses Actually, the most crosses is on the A1 runner and the A2 runner. Okay. And now I'm just gonna start unboxing the. I mean, I'm packaging. I will open the packages of the runners. All right, now so let's look at the runner. So we got a new uh, J runner for the M91. Is a new uh, head for head parts. And you know, this time it actually look kind. It actually looks kind of long though. And then we have a G1 part, new runner on the uh, Gunpla as well, more the all white, so assuming it's going to be a lot of stickers. Then we got a B runner, the, the inner frame. This is the inner frame. We got some uh, vest bar parts, some torso, some waist parts, some uh, heat radiation fans, some uh, thrusters, hands option, uh, you know, uh, legs join, uh, hand joints. Then we got a X2 runner and a X1 runner. Uh, it's a new part as well. I think it's for the new backpack and the new torso and also for the wings at the back as well. We got an A1 and A2 runner. The A1 runner I believe is for the backpack and the outside armor. Uh, we can see some feet part and some shoulder parts as well. The A2 runner is for the uh, gun. Oh, sorry, the Vespa and the Beam Bazooka, I think. We got a G2 runner, a brand new runner on the series. Uh, new backpack, as usual, and a new armor. Then we got a uh, C runner, this time uh, molded in sort of like a brown red color, it's a deep red color um, for the head and for the feet. We got a, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we got an eye runner, uh, new parts, as usual, uh, I think it's for the, not sure what, not sure what is this one, but this one here should be the, uh, you know, the, the connector between the legs and the feet, and this one I assume is the backpack, yep, then I expected a really large sticker sheet, so as I just said, uh, the run is mostly molded in white, so a lot of parts are going to be stickers. We got two poly caps, one with three, you know, uh, round poly caps and one normal poly caps, and you know, I will see you at the review.
review of the M91. This is the finishing of the M91. I honestly need to say that I like the design, but there's just a, some, you know, there's just some part on the uh, gunpla itself I want to like kind of complain about because I think that is pretty, like, pretty unacceptable for me. Uh, I will talk about that when I was, uh, you know, doing the whole review. But first, uh, major problem for number one. I don't know why. Is it the waist? Uh, the front waist armor here that uh, kind of like a, creating a gap, which is why my gunpla couldn't really stand on its own once if I like you know tilt too much to the back. And I definitely want to ask a question. So the backpack is a V2 Gundam design. So if anyone have a premium Bandai uh, wing of flight effect, uh, can you tell me? Can you put on the V2 effect on it? Because I'm curious. It's the same design as the V2 Gundam. So I wonder. Can you put on the uh, effect part for the V2 Gundam as well? If you, if you, you know, if you have an M91 and you have that uh, V2 wing of light, can you test it out for me? Because I'm actually curious. <coughs> uh, anyway, that's not the point. Uh, the point is that the overall look, I actually think, uh, is sharp and it looks very good. But except the stickers, <laughs> kind of ruin the whole feeling of it. And. I will talk about it when I was, um, you know, doing the review. So first off, let's start with the head. This is actually the largest uh, antenna uh, that I saw in that I saw provided in the XG kit. Plus, the head uh, is really easy to rip off. So not sure why um, they would give you give you such a large antenna. But the but during to the extreme large forehead and the antenna, so couldn't really move 360 because your antenna is gonna broke if you move 360 so maximally uh, I would say move to 90, ang 90 degrees that's it and you know moving up and down is very easy and just like the F91 they did give you an other face oh I mean they I mean <coughs> they give you a closed face uh, for you to switch because you know the helmet is uh, extractable uh, you just all you have to do is just you know give it a little push and you can switch between the, uh, the 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 head, yeah, and the head is. Uh, see, this is why, <laughs> this is why I prefer to not switch the head because the head is really easy to fell out for some reason. Now let's talk about the chest. The chest is uh, newly de uh, redesigned, but uh, I have something to complain about. For some reason, the white part here is a large stickers. I really don't get it. Like, why don't why not just give us a separate part? Because I can see that if uh, you actually give us a separate part to snap it on, I think it's okay. First, the area is not too small, so it doesn't need a sticker to be, you know, have a color uh, to reveal the color. It could just give us a separate part since uh, most part of the mobile is white. So I just don't get it. Why you can't? Uh, white band not going to give us a new white part to snap it on. I seriously don't understand it. And uh, the gold sticker here is acceptable because it's a logo, and you know, uh, the logo is a sticker, I'm fine with it. But the white part here, I absolutely didn't accept about that. The arms, the arms, uh, unfortunately, uh, is very tight for some reason. Uh, it's a good thing. <laughs> See, it couldn't stand on its own for some reason, and um. It could, it can move. Uh, the arms can move up like uh, ninety degrees. Very good, and uh, oh my god, the head is really, really, really loose. And you know the the hands can bend up, uh, three sixty. I mean no. Well, oh my god, what I'm saying not three sixty. Um, bend up one eighty. Uh, it can twist around three sixty. Same as the hand down here as well. And uh, we have an optional, we have optional hands there. Uh, this is the gun hold. Uh, the gun. Uh, the sorry the. Uh, the, okay, the hand that holding the gun, uh, we got a pair of them in the kit, and the other side of the hand, and the other one of the hand uh, here, we have a booster here, and it's plain white. So basically, all the color separation up there is either you need to penalize it or they just they give you a free breast stickers. The shoulder here, the yellow part here is stickers as well. As I just said, I don't understand why the uh, Bandai couldn't give us a separate part for the yellow to snap it on. And uh, I'm very disappointing on the um, color separation as well. Waist part movement uh, is very good. The F91 is capable to bend around uh, the ch the uh, torso, but unfortunately during the uh, during the waist, uh, it's not really uh, you know uh, have a lot of 
uh, obstacles are blocking so it couldn't really move too much to the side it can maximally uh, 30 degrees that's it uh, but it does have a good angle on moving front and back or side to side uh, the waist movement is very good is uh, kind of acceptable except you can't twist around between uh, uh, around it um, it's kind of sad because now I can't post I can't post uh, too much movement now let's talk about the waist there so as you can see the Vespa uh, this time moved to the waist but this time the connection is very poor if you slightly pull it a bit harder the whole Vespa is gonna drop so I decide not to play with it too much uh, the Vespa can move to the front as you can see and you know just like the normal F91 is extendable as well there's a handle in there that you can flip it out like this and you know the first part is on the waist I think the idea is pretty cool though but the joint here is really loose uh, also the vest the whole vessel piece can move about uh, 40 degrees and this is the part that I pissed off the most so the front skirt here basically is uh, more the whole white and then uh, every different color up here is all stickers the red part here the yellow part here this is the part that I mostly can't accept about it uh, if you said the yellow part here at the side is a sticker I'm fine with it but but having the red part and the yellow part and, uh, is um, stickers it's just very unacceptable like that those part could have been just you know part separation but they choose to give us some a uh, really loose sticker like the stick has already been f started with, you know collapsing apart you know it's losing uh, as you can see here it's already popped up here so I if you have the if you have the you know paints to do it I decide I strongly suggest you to paint it and not using those really bad stickers now let's talk about the legs movement so the legs uh, so the legs uh, couldn't uh, couldn't really kick uh, 90 degrees but uh, to the back, uh, don't even think about it. To the side, during this uh, Vespa interruption, if you move the Vespa back to the side, it could, it could uh, kick to the side for 90 degrees. The whole the whole leg is uh, you know spinnable, and the stickers here is the yellow stickers on the knees. It's the sticker, and the feet down here move side, side up, uh, down, uh, very good. The armor piece here is slightly movable. Overall, the legs, the legs uh, don't have any problem at all. But it's just the waist piece here, the waist armor here uses a lot of stickers, which I'm very pissed off about. And I think that's his laziness. That's not even called a, you know, that's not called a reasonable stickers. Like some, I, I mean, the whole reasonable stickers here is this, is the corner here at the waist armor. But the whole waist here is just very loose stickers like just it, it just it just very it just made me very piss off when I was building it all right now let's move to the back the back here uh, is just like normal F91 uh, the, the process here is the same as you can see it looks like a V2 Gundam design but uh, it's actually uh, the part here is, is uh, you can open it so which is why I want to ask anyone that have a wing of light effect part uh, could it can you actually you know put on the V2 wing effect part on it because I would like to know it but you know I don't have that so I don't know and the red part here is uh, once again stickers but I can accept that because you know the piece when you're building it is pretty thin as well so I don't expect there's going to be any color separation but the waist part here I'm seriously I'm like seriously I can't accept that and the wings I mean, uh, is it the wings though? Uh, the wings here is like movable and it's just like the F91. The whole side here is movable. So when you want to do the full burst mode, all you have to do is just move down the wings like this. And now you will have the full burst mode like this. Uh, which is pretty cool though and it actually looks like the F91's uh, original Vespa attached on it. But you know. That it actually kind of cool on combining uh, two Gundam's design, but except the stickers kind of ruin the design. I wish this, I wish the stickers are not uh, as much as being used like this. But um, you know, Bandai, once again, you troll yourself with laziness. Now let's talk about the accessory first. We got this M lens. The gold piece here is a stickers, and uh, is. For me, it's acceptable since you know the piece here is so thin. There's no possible any color separation at all. Uh, the head is the head of this lens is actually 
it's actually movable so you can adjust to the angle that you want it uh, which is a very good feature and then we have a normal F91 uh, beam rival and then two beam sabers with no beam saber effect parts if you want if you have an F91 uh, kit just rip it off from there and then you can use it and you know as usual the M lines here can actually attach to the back of the mold uh, to the to the gampla all you have to do you know you just you just need to connect the part you just have to connect the part to the connector like this and there you go you know it's already put it on like this so uh, it's a it's a very good feature though actually and it will look like this once you put it on so this is such a quick look about the uh, M91 um, so <clears throat> overall let's talk about a couple things first I like the colors I very like the colors and I extremely like the idea of this uh, M lens and I really like the overall mobile suit um, customization I think it fits the uh, fits the theme of the uh, is it night is it the design theme is the based on the you know those nights but anyway that's not the point but the design is very cool though but although I think it's kind of shame that a lot of colors on it is stickers you know it's it's very painful to watch those loose stickers destroying this amazing design but sorry man I just lazy uh, like there's a lot of things that I just don't understand sometimes they are lazy to even you know give us an extra part for the color separation I think it's very disappointing to you know it was a great gunpla design and it's a great kit but it's it ruined and then Ben and I decided to ruin it by using a lot of loose stickers I personally um, not a fan about it but uh, you know the, the design is very cool if you can get your hands on it I would definitely recommend you to get one because you know it's such a cool design and uh, actually uh, F91 actually got some love and actually turned into a pretty good design I especially like the golden the golden parts here on the lens on the chest as well the new head though uh, the head um, the only the only thing that I'm kind of think weird is uh, it's weird to see these long uh, attainers on the XG kit if it's on the MG kit I think it's kind of fine but on the XG kit it looks kind of weird <laughs> for me uh, that's just my personal opinion and you know the weapons um, I think the weapons is just uh, the M lens is, is great uh, the, other than that uh, it was missing two beam savers effect part but other than that I'm fine with it and also the waist here uh, you can change the facts with the Vesper position on the waist but uh, the you know the this, it's not really stabilized it's always pop out uh, if you have the if you have some uh, glue and have some things to fix it uh, you know uh, tighten the joint up so it won't uh, pop out as always uh, overall it's a very good product but except the stickers ruined it but anyway here we are and this is the end of the review hope you guys like this video and drop a like to my videos and subscribe to my channel for more gumpla relief uh, for more gunplay reviews and I will see you next time with another gunplay review. Goodbye.